So the day has come now where my vehicle goes back um, end of lease, so it goes back to the dealer. I've had it for three years. Good morning guys. So yesterday I went and purchased some wood from Wix. That's the one I want I think. So that's 12 more. That's nine more. So what I'm going to do now is measure the beams, the width of the beams, and I'm going to put 9mm ply along the beams, and I'm going to put kerf, kerf lines in to bend the ply around to get the profile of the top. Okay, so what I've done is I've set this blade up seven millimeters deep. Now this this piece of ply is nine millimeters thick. I'm going to cut at about seven seven and a half millimeters deep. I've measured 320 mils from there, and that's where I'm going to make my first cut. I'm then going to move the blade along by the thickness of the blade between each cut. So there'll be a cut, then a, a space, then a cut, and then a space ten times. And that works quite well. And this is a riv nut tool. These are riv nuts, and I'm going to stick one in there, and then just like a drywall, it's going to squish behind this metal and keep it in place. So, firstly, you screw this on, open this out as wide as possible, screw this on tight, stick it in the hole, okay, and then push it in tight and squeeze open it slightly give it a few more turns and one last squeeze just to make sure it's tight unscrew it and you've got a nut that's pretty firm in there and squeeze give it a few more turns 
really tight squeeze. And that's it. I'm going to continue doing another two on the wall and that will give me four places to bolt a cross member to. These screws I'm using are self-drilling, self-tapping wafer head screws. decided to take that off because it's taking up too much space um, I think I'll be able to get more and then I'll be able to get more use out of it Strengthen this up. So I'm going to carry on and do the rest. I don't think you need to sit through it again.
So yesterday, when I was drilling in this corner post here, I was drilling through to put a brace across. Um, I drilled through and I hit the fuel pipe, the filler pipe. So it's gone through, drilled a hole through the filler pipe, um, and I knew that because I could smell fuel. Now I don't know how bad the leak is, but I do need to now get underneath and, and check it out. I'm going to remove these rivets but I don't want to use the Dremel because it's around fuel so I'm going to use the multi-tool. It is really, really difficult to get into. I can't get the pipe out the bottom and I can't get my hand up into there and I can't get my hand through the top. It's right in an awkward position. So I got some of the acetone again. Getting it a good as clean as I, oh, I can actually reach it. Yeah, I've gone through it, definitely. Okay, so I'm giving it a good clean with the acetone. Just by feel, can't see a thing. So because I can get my hand in there, I'm going to put a glove on and I'm just going to mix the epoxy onto the glove and just onto my finger and just smear it all around. So I got this stuff, it's um, epoxy weld, plastic weld, from Europart. I'm going to mix a fair amount. first time I put my hand in there I pushed the glue in as deep as possible and the second time I'm just tapping it around the hole okay guys so this is day number two now I'm going to put this in this section here but I had to go buy another bit because I couldn't get my drill in there, so now I've got this right angle which I can get a screw in nicely there. Bit awkward. Five, six, man. Four, five, six. Yeah. 
Aye, aye, aye. So you've got to hold it under there, apparently, because it otherwise burns. So that there is a holding place for a max fan in the future. And this is in the front, the same thing. It's just a 40 by 40 frame. So the cavity, the hole from, from the inside to the inside is 400 mils. It's now glued to the roof with some uh, sticks like shit glue. If you can't afford a max fan immediately, uh, you can put a holding holding spot, cover it, do the insulation, but when you are ready to put the max fan in, you come along, drill in the corners, through the roof, um, which will give you the four holes from the top. The wood on the inside here will also guide the jigsaw and will cut a, a great hole for you. And this is something that Mel from Mel's Van World uh, explained in one of his videos and I'll link it above so a big shout out to Mel and thanks very much mate so we've come to a stage now where I've got to do this filling and it's not something it's not something that I've been looking forward to because it's so messy so this is now the slat on and what I need to do now is inside here, I need to put some insulation. Now, as you can see from this side, I cannot put anything in there. From this one, there is less than a finger to get anything. So to stuff wool in there or anything in there is going to be near impossible. I heard that if you put expanding foam in here, sometimes because this is flat, it's weaker, and this will eventually, I mean, like if you overfill it, this can bulge out on the outside. So people don't like this or, or are scared of expanding foam. We've got this corrugated effect which strengthens the roof. And because of that strengthening, we can put expanding foam in there. And because we've got the wood on already, it's not going to get too drippy and messy and drip on the floor. I've given some ventilation because I don't have a mask. This screws on so tight. Shake it and you put it in as, as upside down as possible. So here's a suggestion, go in the comments, especially my mum, and just say you should have worn gloves. Yep, 
I should wear gloves. Perhaps I'll learn before the end of this conversion. So good morning guys. Um, today is now Monday morning and I'm going to close this video off here. I've come through this morning and just had a look at how the expanding foam has settled in. So this morning I do want to go out and get some protective equipment like a mask, some gloves. Um, my hands are a mess from that expanding foam. My clothes are destroyed so I need to just get some sort of stuff to protect me. It was well ventilated yesterday and yes you're welcome to put in the comments how, how I need to use protective equipment and I think editing the video I can see how much I'm not using protective equipment and I should. So putting the safety police aside and all, all those people that love to comment about safety first Joke's over, I'm seriously going to start um, using some protective equipment. So, I hope you enjoy the video. It's slightly longer than last week's or the previous week's. And that was because of the interlude in the middle with the petrol filling, filling pipe that I needed to repair. That's also something I need to consider before drilling into any panels, is what is behind it. Uh, I know that you do that in a house but you just don't think to do it in a van and um, live and learn live and learn before I go I just want to introduce a new section I want to put at the end of the videos now called this week's shout out and uh, I want to start this week's shout out by mentioning and shouting out uh, Danny and Tolu they on YouTube they have been stationary in a forest so although there are worse places to be locked down. They were in one place in a forest and they made the best of their time during lockdown and their videos are just so fun to watch. So much positivity, they, they always look for happiness in life and uh, it seems that they're finding it. Last week they decided to venture out of the UK and into Europe following the easing of the lockdown and um, I think their adventure is now about to start so it's going to be very very exciting times for them uh, and for you if you consider subscribing so go have a look at their channel I'll put a link in the description below and enjoy if you enjoy what you saw this week and are looking forward to the exciting part of the van build now which is going to go slightly faster than it has been um, please consider subscribing uh, sharing the video with your friends and, and family and anyone that you know who is building a van who may find it useful until next week remember like share and subscribe and stay safe thank you